Hey guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here, and today I have an informed Kevin Nolan review. Uh, this is the squad that I was playing Kevin Nolan in. It is a 3-5-2 overpowered, cheap Premier League side, but we're going to push on now and compare Nolan's informed to his regular card. So, his normal card is uh, a 75 overall card, and his inform is 77, obviously. Uh, most of the stats have increased by a few. Uh, his shot uh, it has definitely increased by a lot. It has gone from a 75 to an 83. His heading has gone from 79 to 82. Uh, his dribbling, 70 to 73. Uh, his pace has only gone up by one, passing up by two, and his defense up by one. And moving on to his in-game stats now, he was a very impressive player to use. Uh, he had an amazing long shot, as you can see at the bottom of the page uh, with the photoshopping I did. Uh, his top six stats are his shot power, his long shots, his volleys, his aggression, his jumping, and his penalties. So most of those revolve around his uh, ability to shoot from long range, uh, and that definitely came off in the game. He had a very nice uh, shot. And his inform card, the shot is 83. He also had a very nice pass on him. He also he always found a very nice ball, uh, and he was a very good dribbler of the ball. He just kept the ball very close to him, as you can see here, as he gets tackled and the player gets red carded. But I was very impressed with uh, Kevin Nolan. Also, he had a fair few uh, free kick opportunities, as you can see now. Uh, he steps up to this one, and a lot of the time when I took free kicks with him, um, they were they came very close to going in. Not all of them went in, but um, they look very close to going in the back of the net. I did score two goals with him in two matches, but I was very impressed with him. Uh, his penalties, as as uh, you can see just there, were very nice uh, to be able to put that into the top left hand corner. And also look at this free kick here. Uh, I take it in the the middle of the park, and it almost goes in the bloody top right hand corner of the goal. That would have been crazy if it went in. I would have seriously gone nuts and sent it into our top five goals of the week if that went in. That was crazy, but um, I was very, very impressed with him. Uh, he just dribbled straight through the fence, so unfortunately he wasn't able to uh, finish it, but I really enjoyed my time with Kevin Nolan. Uh, and also, when he wasn't on the ball, he also made some very nice runs, uh, moving into very nice positions, and uh, I was very, very impressed with him. Uh, he, 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 he played a lot of nice balls to my teammates, and... Overall, I was very, very impressed with Kevin Nolan. Also, guys, two more things I want to cover on. Uh, the first one being that you could play him in a striker if you wanted to. Uh, due to his great stats uh, as a center track mid, like his long shots and his shooting. Uh, his shooting is actually his highest stat on his... Uh, card also his heading so those are two some those are two stats that a striker really needs to be good at so if you really wanted to you could push you could put a converter on him and put him as a striker and the second thing is guys his pace was the only thing that really let me down uh, 62 pace isn't the fastest uh, so if you did happen to play him at a striker uh, he wouldn't be like a Danny Sturridge where you can just play a lob through ball and he would outpace the defender and score the goal. Uh, he'd kind of be the type of player where you're in the box and you pass it to him and he first time finishes it or outside the box or off a cross. But let alone he was a great player and now we're going to move on to the pros and the cons. So for the pros guys, he has excellent passing, excellent shooting, his free kicks are pretty good. Uh, his price, it's only 14k which is crazy because uh, he's a very good player so uh, I should I recommend picking him up. Uh, he has a high work, way, uh, work rate, excuse me, but he has great stamina which means uh, he does a lot of work. And usually when you have a high work rate, uh, high attacking work rate, you run out of stamina pretty easily but this guy is a machine uh, and his cons are that his pace is lacking only 62 pace and he has poor crossing uh, I couldn't really think of many uh cons for this guy so those are two pretty average uh cons so he is a great player uh for a final rating out of 10 I give him a 7.5 out of 10 I would pick him up for any cheap English or Premier League side uh, only because of his price and he is decent he's a decent inform because of his price so, it has been Jared HD here with an informed Kevin Nolan player review. Please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for more FIFA 13 Ultimate Team and Career Mode content. Have an awesome day, guys. I'll speak to you later. I'm out. Peace.